When you start your car, truck, or even your lawnmower, you're starting an engine. But not many people know how these machines actually work. Today, with the help of Legos, I'm going to explain how engines work. The most common type of engine is the four-stroke engine. The four-stroke engine is named this because it has four strokes, or cycles, which are intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust. I've made this LEGO engine model to help explain how engines work. Let's begin with the basic components of a four-stroke gasoline engine. The piston is what moves up and down inside the cylinder. The piston is connected to the crankshaft, which rotates and provides power to the vehicle. The camshaft is connected to the crankshaft with a 2 to 1 ratio, meaning the camshaft turns once for every two crankshaft rotations. The camshaft is what opens and closes the valves. The valves are what allow air to flow in and out of the engine, and what allow air to be compressed inside. There are generally two valves, the intake valve and the exhaust valve. The spark plug is what ignites the air-fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber. Now that we know the basic parts of an engine, how does the engine actually create power? Let's start with the intake stroke. During the intake stroke, the camshaft opens the intake valve. The air-fuel mixture is pulled into the chamber by a vacuum created by the piston moving down. Then the intake valve closes and the piston rises, starting the compression stroke. When the air-fuel mixture is compressed, it becomes extremely volatile, which allows for more energy to be released. When the piston reaches just past top dead center, or the top of the cylinder, the spark plug fires, igniting the air-fuel mixture, forcing the piston downwards. This is called the combustion stroke. When the piston reaches bottom dead center, or the bottom of the cylinder, the camshaft opens the exhaust valve, starting the exhaust stroke. The piston moving upward forces the burnt gases out the exhaust port. Once the piston reaches top dead center again, the process starts over. All this is happening thousands of times every minute. So, that's the basics of how an engine works. There are many other types of engines, such as two-stroke engines, diesel engines, rotary engines, and many more. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me cover these other types of engines. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.